Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will look at uh, what can you expect in love and who you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. If you find that this doesn't resonate much for you, check out the Virgo playlist. It's linked in the description box. So let's jump right in for Virgo. Spirit, angels, guides. Guidance, what messages do you have for Virgo regarding love? Who or what is coming towards Virgo in love? Oh, okay. We have number 32 here and now. Bottom of the deck is new life. Interesting. Here and now, it's kind of like being on a threshold of some sort. You're between the past and the future. It's about being in the present. Being fully present in the moment and living one day at a time. So it, this is about um, tomorrow uh, having something to look forward to, I feel. Stay present and aware that in this moment, you're a magnet for love and focus on the here and now when it comes to love. So I feel like th there's a different w ways you can interpret this, but because we have new life at the bottom of the deck, I feel like these two energies are connected. Actually, let me just put these together. Um, I feel like maybe right now in the present, there is probably not anything going on in your love life that you're like super thrilled about, but I feel like in the future that could change because there's a new life um, that awaits. Let's see what else we got. What else for Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo spirit? Who or what is coming towards Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo? Walking away an unexpected event? What? Unexpected event. This is like my tower card. So something unexpected, shocking, an ending of some sort, revelations. Um, I feel like they led to some sort of ending here because someone's walking away. This could be you, Virgo. This could have happened in the past as well, but I just have a feeling that this happened recently. Maybe a, a connection ended, a relationship ended for you, and I feel like this is leading you towards somewhere new. All right, let's see what we have here with the tarot. Spirit, what can you tell us for Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo when it comes to love? What is going on for Virgo spirit in love? What can Virgo expect spirit? The world. I mean, exactly what we have already talked about. Endings and new beginnings with the world. The world is about cycles. You've graduated from this current cycle and you're headed towards something new. So... I'm speaking to a Virgo where that's happening for you in love. Seven of Wands, this is about standing firm against any challenge, resistance as well. And there's that Ten of Swords, there's that ending. I feel like this might be a specific reading. The Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So um, an opportunity I feel is in store. Despite everything that's happening here for you, I feel like there's good stuff happening as well because there's obviously been difficulties with this Ten of Swords. Difficult endings, betrayals, tough um, tough moments, I feel. Okay, some of you, this is like, um, this was something that you already knew was going to happen. I'm, I'm getting like someone was just waiting for when it would happen. So I don't know if this is all of your energy or if your person's energy is mixed in here, but I feel like someone was kind of waiting for this. Like this tower was not so unexpected. So let's get some clarity for Virgo, please spirit. Tell me about the world. 
Tell me about the world. The Eight of Swords. Fear, stuck energy, not really seeing a way out of your situation. Tell me about the world. Wow, the Fool. A completely new beginning. And there's the Wheel of Fortune. And do you want to know what's behind the Wheel of Fortune? The Ten of Cups. Wow. I feel like some of you might be scared of this new start, this new beginning, but you don't need to be scared, Virgo. It's all going to work out and it's all going to be for good. The Wheel of Fortune is here that is going to take you to a Ten of Cups. I mean, this is amazing how it's all fitting together so far. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. I feel like there's some sort of challenge here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Page of Pentacles. An offer of some sort. Page of Pentacles is a small offer, but it can lead to more. Wow, the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you've been through a lot, Virgo, but I see you as this Nine of Pentacles. You're, you're going to be okay. You know what I'm getting? That some of you, maybe you're out of a relationship and you catch someone's eye and they come forward. And maybe you're just not ready. Maybe you're not ready to think about that. Eight of Pentacles behind this Nine of Wands. I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of work, self, um, self care, working on yourself, working on your business, focusing on your money, perhaps. Um, I'm getting very positive energy here with these two cards, despite the fact that the Nine of Wands is here. So it's almost like I'm feeling like someone's fighting for this or defending themselves, protecting themselves here. I think that there's someone that will be approaching you with this Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles energy. Like someone already has an offer for you or something that they would like to present to you. And then I feel like there's resistance possibly on your side here because maybe you're just not ready for that because of everything you've been dealing with. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Four of Cups. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Three of Pentacles. Can I get one more for this Ten of Swords, please? Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. The Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I'm seeing this in two different ways. One message I'm getting is that there is some sort of commitment that has come to an end or some sort of situation that came to an end, possibly because there was issues in the commitment side or maybe there was another person involved. Others of you, I'm getting that you're just not ready for new love. It's something you think about, but this Four of Cups is telling me that you have not been able to accept this just yet. You're not ready for the new just yet. And maybe Spirit is encouraging you to give a chance to the new. Taurus energy with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. So, you know, it's like maybe you, there's a new beginning in love here that could lead towards commitment. What's behind this? Seven of Wands again. So it's like you're resisting this and there's the Five of Wands. So I'm not sure why you would resist this love, a new beginning in love. Um, maybe this is someone that you're not interested in romantically, or perhaps you're just not ready because you're still kind of processing what has already happened. Let's see who you might be dealing with here. Spirit, tell me about this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this person that, okay, my deck is just wanting to talk. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, Five of Wands. Communication with the Ace of Wands, some sort of message, truth, clarity. Let's start there because I feel like I'm not going to clarify all of these because I'll be here forever, but I feel like this Ace of Swords is important. What's this Ace of Swords about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? 
The Two of Wands, a choice, a decision. Why is the Ace of Swords here? I feel like you'll have to make a choice here. Yep, Seven of Cups. You're gonna have to decide something here, Virgo. Tell me about the eight, uh, Ace of Swords, please. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Magician. The Sun at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, you're getting a lot of uh, clarity here. Someone might have made a decision I mean, this is your person's energy, the other person that you're dealing with. So I feel like this message is for you and the decision is up to you. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe this has happened after some time because the Seven of Pentacles is about being patient, waiting. Um, you're not sure how something's going to turn out, but you've worked on this. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. And now you're wondering if all of your hard work will pay off if there will be a successful outcome yeah ace of cups so virgo what i'm getting here is i feel like some of you i'm going to say most of you you want love you want this i feel like this nine of cups is this ace of cups and i feel like there's someone in your midst that m maybe you're not aware of that they want this with you too it's like some of you might be thinking well i can't wait to start a new cycle in love and then you're not aware that someone possibly has been waiting to shoot their shot or present this offer to you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Some of you might be getting into dating here and have many options, but let's look what the Seven of Cups is about. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Three of Cups, reunion, celebrations. Yeah, I'm getting like dating from this energy. There's the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person, there's going to be someone that's going to come forward with an offer. And I think some of you might be hesitant to accept this offer, but I feel like they, they already knew what they wanted with you, basically, whoever this is. Tell me about this five of wands. I guess I am going to clarify all of these. Tell me about this five of wands. The six of swords. Tell me about the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here? Strength, Leo energy. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person might be a person that you already had. Um, like maybe they already walked away from you in the distant past. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Maybe there was conflicts in the distant, distant past. But for others of you, of you, I'm getting like, I don't know. It's like this person's making their move after you finish. Wow, there's the tower. Again, the tower. And the three of swords. Wow. A very difficult tower. See, I feel like some of you, this is the person you had a tower moment with. But the six of swords is about leaving this behind. Although it could be this walking away card. The chariot. <laughs> Cancer energy. Another card about moving forward. So there's two ways to interpret this, right? Because remember, this is um, this is your person's... What do you need to know about this person that you're going to be dealing with or are dealing with? I feel like, you know, for some of you, this could be the person you had a tower moment with. One of you walked away because of drama, conflict, and maybe they want to talk about this and you have a choice to make, right? That's one way of, of looking at this. Another way of looking at this is that you were walk you walked away from something because of a tower and this person that for some reason they know about this and they're going to be able to make their move now let's see if we can get some insight spirit can you give me some insight into this connection between virgo i keep wanting to say taurus between virgo and this person Ah. Okay, we got Virg, um, Privileged Lady, which is the, the Nine of Pentacles kind of in this card. And I always think of that Nine of Pentacles as Virgo energy. And then we have Bad Health. Yeah, I feel like this is you, Virgo. I feel like you've been through a lot when it comes to love. And then there's that Gift energy, which is like, um, like the Ace of Pentacles here. I'm not going to look at all of these. I just want to make sure that they're all upright. 
I do feel like there's someone that is going to be making you some sort of an offer. What else do we have to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this connection? Marriage. Pathway. Hmm. Some of you might have been married to this person. Let's get some insight into what they're thinking or feeling. What is this other person thinking or feeling? Also, Virgo, I'm getting that for a small number of you, this choice that came up here with the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, you might have a choice between two different people. One could be the person that you already walked away from and another one could be a completely new person. What is this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Virgo? I can't let you go. Why do I keep getting these messages? I keep getting the same similar messages <laughs> despite, you know, what tarot I use or whatever. You matter to me, okay? So I've been switching up the, the tarot decks for the different signs. What else? What else do we need to know about this person? What are their energies towards Virgo? What are their energies towards Virgo? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So I feel like this is someone that could have walked away from you in the past. I want to feel that way again at the bottom of the deck. This could be the past coming back. However, Virgo, I feel like a lot of you are going to have something new in love with new life. You know, I'm interpreting that to be something completely new to you. So I don't know. I feel like now that you're free, you have all these options. You know, you might have to choose between two different op um, offers. Let me get one more for the Seven of Cups. Spirit, can I get one more energy for this Seven of Cups? There's the Three of Swords. Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Cups? What do we need to know? about this seven of cups for virgo what do we need to know ace of swords i do feel like someone's going to be talking to you here there's the page of cups and i think that so for some of you it's going to be somebody that's going that already hurt you in the past or you had difficulty with in the past and they're going to talk to you i feel and you're going to have to decide what to do um, when they come forward Some of you, I feel like if you're if you're someone that's dating um, and meeting new people, I feel like there's definitely someone that's going to be interested in you. Um, I see that as well with this Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I instantly thought dating. Um, but this could be somebody wanting to reunite. Three of Cups, Three of Swords, the Ace of Swords. And, you know, they want to come together with you, meet up, um, and tell you that maybe they still care about you, still want to be with you, can't let you go, all that energy. So this could be the past returning for sure. Maybe this is not This is unexpected for you. Maybe they walked away a long time ago and you never expected them to return. But I still feel that some of you are having like a completely new beginning in love. And, it, and this will determine, you know, is it a new beginning in love with the past or with the future? It's going to be up to you, I feel. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.